Let me clarify uh, and remove this doubt from the minds of every one of you forever. How do we calculate the ROI, return on investment? And please remember, return on investment is EBIT divided by investment. And I'm sure all of you would remember how to calculate the investment. We just discussed in the previous discussion, investment is non-current assets plus current assets minus current liabilities. That is your investment. How do we calculate EBIT, which is also known as operating profit? Yesterday, we had discussed throughout uh, through the uh, P&L statement as to how to figure it out, the EBIT. So EBIT divided by investment and that is your return on investment and have no doubt about it have no ambiguity about it this is how you calculate the return on investment how do you calculate the return on capital employed and i can tell you friends again about the return on capital employed there are a lot of doubts in the minds of the people so uh, first of all let's understand what the return on capital employed tells me so return on capital employed tells me uh, as a business what return I am earning for the people who have given me capital and therefore what is my capital? My capital comprises of debt plus equity. Iska matlab kya hai? What does it mean? It means the people who have given me the debt and the people who have given me the equity, what returns I am earning for them. And remember it's very simple. For the equity holders, what you are earning, you are earning EAT. And for the debt, the people who have given the given you the land, the, the debt, what you are giving to them, you are giving to the interest. And therefore, when you want to calculate your return on capital employed, how will you calculate your return on capital employed? In the numerator, uh, you will not keep uh, earning after tax, you will not keep anything else. You will simply keep uh, in the numerator earning after tax plus interest on the long term loans and divided it by the capital employed that comprises of long-term debt and equity because equity is always long-term. And this is how, friends, you will calculate your return on capital employed. So I'm sure those of you who uh, did mention in the chat box can check their number and uh, check their uh, formula and make the necessary correction. So this is how, friends, we calculate uh, the return on uh, investment and return on capital employed and also return on equity. Very quickly, let me also tell you, what do these KPIs indicate? A return on equity tells you as a business what return you are giving to the people who have given you equity capital. Return on investment tells you as a business what kind of operating profit you are generating using the investment that you have made into the assets in that company. And the return on capital employed as I already, already said tells you what it tells you as a business what return you are earning for the people who have given you capital. And who are the people who give you capital? The people who give you capital are the shareholders and are also lender. And that is the that is the reason in the numerator, you will take the earning after tax plus, uh, plus interest on the long term loans to calculate your return on capital employed.